Now here at six after receiving an extension from a Jefferson County judge today, the Attorney General Daniel Cameron's office did release the grand jury recordings in the Brianna Taylor case. 15 hours and the WHAS 11 news team has been going through all of the recordings today. Paula Vassan joining us live again from Jefferson Square downtown to explain more about what we've been learning from the recordings. Paula, what did the grand jury hear from the police officers involved in the Brianna Taylor case? Well, Doug, yeah, we've been listening to 15 hours of grand jury testimony all day. Our team has been pouring over it. One of the things we heard was testimony from John Mattingly, one of the officers involved in the shooting of Breonna Taylor. He mentioned arriving at Breonna Taylor's house, knocking on the door repeatedly and announcing LMPD. So I know throughout the day, we never hear Daniel Cameron's voice on the recordings. We followed up with his office today to ask them about that. Did he make any of the presentations or recommendations in person? Yeah, well, Daniel Cameron's office says actually all evidence, all audio evidence was presented to us and we are hearing everything, but they say that prosecutor recommendations and statements were not included and that's because it's not required under Kentucky law. That's according to the statement we received. Okay, Paula, thank you very much. Now our coverage is continued here on the night team tonight.